Hi, and welcome to Jerry Bickle Race Cars. My name is Steve. We're going to talk about parachute and parachute mounting. Um, we at Jerry Bickle Race Cars carry two primary brands of parachute, the Stroud Safety Equipment Company and Simpson Parachutes. But besides the parachute, the question becomes, how do I get this mounted to my car or whatever? And I know when I first started working for Jerry and selling parts or whatever, we had the parachutes or whatever, but I thought it was kind of unique that Jerry had everything that was involved in getting that parachute mounted to the car. So again, if you're updating something on your car, changing from a single to a dual, or possibly putting a parachute on for the first time because the track that you're running at has told you that you're running quick enough now that they want you to come back with a parachute on it next time, uh, we have everything you need to, uh, to help you. Uh, what I've got set out here is uh, our single and dual parachute pack mounts. This one being the single parachute pack mount. When you order from us, comes fabricated in this stage. This is the cord pull point that would weld off of the rear of the chassis. These tubes would be cut to length and then welded to the cup washers, as I call them, that's on each side of the cord roller, thus kind of shrouding the bolt in there, protecting none of the cord lines can get hung up on anything. Nice smooth surfaces for everything. Basically a continuation of the roller the way I ever looked at it. The back of the parachute pack mount already has the tabs on it and the screw hardware is provided for mounting the parachute pack plate to the back of the mount. These two tubes for, for, uh, protrude forward and on a tube chassis car that we build, we would have tubing off the tail section of the car that would protrude through the rear body panel and these would slide into them, the male-female situation of sliding into the tube on the car. And then there'd be a couple small little hairpins that would pin this in place. So for purposes of painting, plating, servicing, or anything, two pins are pulled, one cord pull point bolt removed, and this pack mount comes off the back of the car. If you have a car that is doesn't have anything back there to have the tubes providing or uh, protruding off the rear of the race car for the upper frame to slide into, we provide two triangulated tabs like this that this tube can be welded to these are provided with screw hardware and this could mount to the rear panel let's say of a steel body car in between the taillight area of a Camaro, a Nova, Mustang, whatever it might be and you get the same purpose of what we do it off of a tube chassis car where the upper frame would slide into this and again be held in place by the pin. All the hardware is provided for doing that and then if you go really fast, or faster, and you need a dual parachute system on the car, same concept or idea with our dual cord pull point here. We can't build this one to quite the stage that we're able to do the single parachute pack mount, but we do build the frames for you. The differences of the two size frames here are generally large parachutes or small parachutes. This would generally be your common in the industry called 9x9 pack mount, and this would be your 7x7 pack mount. Um, the reason the frame can't be constructed as much as the single parachute pack mount is because of the degree, the degree of angles coming from this back to the cord pull point on the car, and also due to so many different configurations of the dual chutes. You're doing, dealing with anything from a regular pilot chute parachute, to a spring launcher style sometimes, mechanical spring launcher, or to a pneumatic air assisted parachute. And because of those reasons, we just provide the tubing to the customer that he would weld to the frame and bring back to the points of the car and to the cord pull point. Again, all the hardware is included, uh, but all nice method of uh, getting either single or dual parachutes attached to the back of your car. Okay, and now that we've got the parachutes mounted, we need a way or activation of those. And again, we can help you with anything dealing with the cable system of operating from the driver's compartment to the parachutes for the deployment of them. This happens to be just a cutaway here shown of our parachute cable kit hardware that comes with it. Uh, you'll get a 12 foot long cable fabricated on one end with your male 
thread to go to the ball linkage end that's going to connect to the parachute handle. The other end being left long that you will cut to final length and then cap with this parachute cable end cap that we have that stops the cable from being frayed and allows the inner core of the cable to pass through it for real nice smooth operation. Um, all comes in a nice hardware pack like this with instructions. We have a variety of different cables, cable accessories, handles, uh, from a single core or a single parachute cable kit to the dual model parachute cable kit. And not shown in this particular video, we also have the pneumatic parachute release system that can hook to the manual handle in the car, uh, thus allowing the driver to push a button on the steering wheel. A pneumatic cylinder would move the handle for the driver and deploy the parachutes. Uh, anything to do with getting the chutes mounted, the parachutes themselves, or the activation of the parachutes, we can give you help with. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or reach out to us on the web. We're always here to give you a hand and help.